Okay folks, here's video two of the stepper motor. I've got it mounted on the mill. It's still a work in progress, but here it is. Here's a cabinet I got. And like I said, I'm not finished, but I do have it on the mill. I haven't added any uh, limit switches. But uh, I'm gonna open the box and show you what I've got inside the box here. I've got this made where I can expand it, put uh, different drives in there. Uh, I've got some breakers here. I've got a 120 plug. I've got this uh, 24 volt power supply for the fans here. For the fans. Uh, to keep the heat out of the box. I've got my Arduino mounted right here behind this shield that I've bought and built. I've got this uh, ATX PC power supply here that runs it actually runs the Arduino and I've got it hooked up to a switch up on the controller I'll show you where I can shut this off I can sh when I shut this off I've got this hooked up to a solid state relay right here see that this is hooked up to 120 down here this is hooked up to my to that PC to that switch to the this is hooked up to this power supply that this power supply goes off it turns this solid state relay off which in turn turns the 120 AC power off to this this also turns this power supply off to these fans and that switches up there on the controller I'll show you here's the drive I can mount two more drives here for the uh, Y and maybe the X axis later on. Okay, I'm gonna pause here and I'm gonna get up and then I'm gonna show you. Uh, I'm gonna show you how it's mounted to the mill. Okay, here's my old milling machine right here. It's an old uh, Bridgeport, big one too. It's already got this DC power, DC drive right here that drives the x-axis and I'll probably get rid of that eventually and uh, here is the stepper motor I retrofitted on I made mount for it and of course I've, I've got to make a guard for it but I'm not done here it'll be belt driven right here to the handle and I have to modify this a little bit but the stepper motor is down there and the controller up here here's a readout that was already on the mill and here's the controller now I've got the controller I can turn it on here which turns that everything on in the box I've got a jog button for when I jog it it'll momentarily turn the motor on like I did in the first video See that? I jog one direction, jog another. Okay, I got this. I got this velcro on here, so I can move this. I can take this off here like this, and I can put this anywhere I want to. So I can get it to focus. There we go. Now I'm going to hit the run button, and it'll just run. Hit the run button. It'll just start running. I can speed it up. I can reverse it instantly. Instantly like that. And then when I hit the, the stop button, it stops. You'll see this real interesting. Let me zero this out and I'll show you something. I'm going to go all the way down. Wish it would focus. I'm going to turn this all the way down to zero. I don't know if you can see it there. It's trying to focus. Well, it don't want to focus for me. So anyway, I'm going to just turn this on like five points and watch how slow this thing runs.
it'll just creep. Hold on a second, we get the backlash out of it. There we go. Okay. Turn it from five, zero that. Watch how slow it just creeps. I can go a half thousandth at a time. I can go a half thousandth at a time by just jogging it right here. Okay, so I think you got the picture now. And so I'm going to put some limit switches on here and eventually try to do this with a rotary dial um, encoder. And so happy Arduinoing.